it going? Welcome to my video. So, this video is on an issue that I've been having with my car for, I'd say, quite a while now. It's sporadic, but but this afternoon, uh, it kind of conked, it kind of, you know, went out on me, conked out, went out on me. Um, so, I was driving the car fine, no problem, I started up this morning, you know, no issues whatsoever, um, took it, you know, about 10, 15 miles, you know, from one place to the next, and went shopping a little bit, parked at the shopping lot, parking lot, um, came back out, tried to start the car, and nothing happens, so, you know, it was, it was, it's daylight out and, uh, I'm like, you know, what's the issue? Um, because it was driving fine to start up fine. Um, so let me give you guys a backstory on this. Um, I have had starting problems, um, and these are sporadic starting problems from, uh, from way back. I'm talking about like nine, nine months. All right. Like once a month, once every two months, what would happen is, um, you know, I would park my car and try to start it and the car won't start. So for most of the time I'll get out, you know, check a couple of things, uh, you know, see if the terminal wires are loose and if, you know, sometimes they'll lose, sometimes they're not loose. And sometimes I'll just, uh, turn it a little bit just to see if it made a difference. Um, and then I'll, I'll start a couple of times and for the most part, it would always, always, always start. It would always start. Uh, but today, nothing. Um, I tried doing the same thing. I got out, uh, you know, see, see if, um, you know, I could do the same thing that I did before by turning the terminal, uh, the battery terminals. I'm hoping that, hoping that I would get the same result, but nothing, nothing, nothing happened. So, my other thought was, um, maybe I had a dead battery for whatever reason. Maybe the battery, uh, you know, was no good. But strange thing is, um, you know, all the, you know, the battery works. I checked the lights. The lights were strong. The headlights were strong. Uh, check the fan blow motor works. Um, everything worked. So I, I was, you know, trying to figure out what the problem is. I had somebody, uh, I asked somebody in the parking lot to help me jump the car. Um, and you I mean, when they put cables to it, nothing, just one, one click. It was just one single click, one single click and, and, and nothing else. I mean, all, all the lights on the dash work. There was no issues. There was no issues with anything else except for the fact that the car won't start. So, you know, at that point I was thinking, I mean, it could be a fuse. It could be a relay. Um, it could be the brake switch. Um, you know, any one of those things. But, um, I did, I did go and try to, um, um, you know, try to play with the brake switch a little, um, see if that worked. Um, you know, didn't uh, it didn't work? That, I'm pretty sure that wasn't a problem. Um, most of the time, that's not the problem, and uh, that has never been the problem. It's not the problem. So I was thinking maybe it could be a relay or a fuse. Um, a lot of times when I had issues with fuse, what would happen was um, the car would either crank, have everything else working, it'll crank, but it won't start, or, or um, there's, you know, it's just no power whatsoever, which, which is like the main fuse that's dead. Um, I did check the fuses, you know, I did have a, um, a, a fuse tester on me and I did test out all the fuses. Um, all the fuses were good. So that wasn't the issue. All right. My other, the other thing that came to mind was maybe it was, um, you know, I, I, I kind of knew it was a starter. Um, I replaced the starter. 
a year ago it's a refurbished starter unfortunately you guys know anything about refurbished starters you guys know that they go out on you quite a bit well or go out on you there's always a chance that they go out on you considering that um, a lot of these uh, when they fix these starters they only fix a single part of it they don't fix all the parts of it all right so you know there's a there's a high percentage of starters just um, starters just you know not working since they only changed one single part of it um, unfortunately so you know that was the thing that I had um, that you know I, I thought could have caused the issue but um, I was looking at the fuse uh, seeing maybe the fuse would have you know caused my car not to start um, I didn't think it was the fuse considering there was a click I was hearing clicks and um, the fact that I'm hearing clicks means that the solenoid um, is firing off at least once. And if it's firing off at least once, it means that the fuse is delivering uh, power. I mean, the, the connection is, is good. That the fuse is not broken. It's delivering power um, to, to the starter itself. So at that point, I, you know, I, it, was, it was a pretty high percentage that it was the starter that was the problem. Um, so this is what I did. I, I, I took a, um, I mean, as our last resort, I actually took, um, you know, a, a long crowbar that I had, um, try to knock the starter a little bit, uh, see if it changes anything, and then try to turn, you know, try to start the car. Um, unfortunately, um, it did the same thing. I mean, sometimes that works. If you guys, um, if you guys, um, you know, know anything about, you know, a little bit about cars as far as, you know, issues, uh, starting issues and stuff like that. You guys know that that is one of the, you know, strangely enough, that's one of the things that you could do to try to get it started if the starter was, uh, you know, if the, if the starter had one more start left in him. But, uh, funny thing is, I've had situations where I, I've done that multiple times on the starter and, you know, that had issues and it would always start it up. But this, at this point, at this point, um, that's not the case because, um, you know, my car, you know, I, I did it a couple of times. Normally, when you try and bump the starter, it's, it's better if you have somebody else, um, you know, try to start the car uh, while you bump the starter. I bumped it a couple of times. I bumped the starter itself, the main uh, unit, the motor. I bumped the solenoid. I bumped both those things, um, and it and and it didn't do anything. All right, but I did go one step further. I did go one step further. I had um, some wires. I had some wires on me. So what I did was I tried hooking up, um, you know, the positive. Um, if you guys don't know how to do this, don't, don't do this. I tried hooking up the positive, um, you know, hooked up the wire to the positive terminal of the battery. And I actually tried to, you know, start it bypassing the relay and all that stuff just to see if it did work. Um, what you do is you touch the, I believe you touch the positive and the, um, there's three terminals on there. There's a positive, there's, um, you know, there's one that goes to the solenoid and then there's another one. I, you know, I touched uh, those two terminals and uh, unfortunately nothing worked. It didn't work. So that's my situation as far as the car uh, is concerned. And you guys are still with me. Uh, just let you guys know what the issue was. The starter um, actually died on me, and just just um, you know, um, I I had the starter sw swapped out, and uh, the car started without problem. Um, I didn't even mention the alternator being like one of the things on my list that I'd have to cross out. You know, reason being is that the alternator. Um, here's the thing with the alternator. Um, that alternator only dies on you if the car is on if the motor is on and the, and the alternator dies on you um and and the car 
won't start after that. You know that you know you know that the alternator was the issue, and it won't start because the battery is drained, because the alternator is not uh, charging up um, the battery. So I mean that's the difference between the car not starting, uh, no start as far as um, that's concerned. And if it's a dead alternator, you could actually put cables on it on the battery and it'll start up. And once you take the cables off, it'll probably die out. It, it, you know, it might die out, it might die out slowly, but it'll die out. So that's the difference. Um,